When people say they want to lose weight, what they really mean is they want to lose fat, but simple scales can't measure what you're losing. HealthWest reporter Beth Galvin joins us to explain all of that. And Tom and Corey, when you measure your body fat, you usually get it done with a pinch test at the gym or a scale that measures your fat at home. But those methods can be off by as much as 8%. So we found a machine that gives you the most accurate readings available, and it's right here in Atlanta. Okay, you're coming up uh, after Angela and we're in her package now. Yeah, okay, that's great. what I'm talking about. With a steady diet of stress, we'll have to go live in the new show. Right. Fox 5 producer Susan Tisak says empty calories come with the job. You just walk by, see food on the assignment desk, and pick up a donut or pick up a piece of candy. And before you think about it, you're adding hundreds of calories. Probably no exercise at all and stress. Ted French's work is not exactly physical and when the 42 year old went to grad school a few years ago I gained probably about 40 pounds in two years. I weighed enough to be playing linebacker for the Yellow Jackets and since I didn't have any eligibility left I decided it was time to do something about it. For both doing something meant getting on a diet. Everything that goes in your mouth before you put it in your mouth you need to think about it. Getting on an exercise plan and getting off the scale. One of the things I try to do is convince my clients not to pay attention to the scale weight. Mike Steinle is Ted's personal trainer. What most people uh, approach me with is they say they want to tell me and essentially what they uh, mean is they want to reduce their body comp or body fat or change their body composition. To do that, Ted and, and Susan no both turn to this. Have a seat, hands in your lap, relax, breathe normal and try not to move. We're going to do it two to three times at 50 seconds at a time. Just relax. Here we go. The Bod Pod, a $40,000 body fat estimator that goes beyond any scale. Your scale weight is just, you know, your scale, you're just gravity. but. With lean body mass, it's what you're made up of. The space age light device housed at Georgia Tech's Homer Rice Center uses air pressure to measure body density. It's almost like being in a ride at Six Flags. It's similar to when you get in a bathtub, you displace a certain amount of water. It's the same, we're displacing a certain amount of air. If you're trying to lose weight, you want to keep track of your body density so you can make sure that you're losing fat and not muscle. This is five pounds of body fat. Muscle is only about half the size of this. For Ted, building muscle Got it. Yep. Good. Mm -hmm. is about more than looking fit. Uh, when I had a physical and, and was told that I had uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, he had a legitimate concern. He wanted to uh, come off of the high blood pressure medicine. In a year, Ted's not only dropped 20 pounds, his doctor told him it was okay for him to quit taking the daily pills. He shook my hand and he said it's not very often that I get to take someone off of medication. Susan lost 50 pounds in two years. It's, it's incredible. It's, it's, it's made a big difference in my life, losing the weight. Recently, she's gained a bit back and has returned to the Bod Pod. Here we go. Think happy thoughts. To find out how much of that weight is fat. Okay, you're done. When you break it down, you look at muscle weight, you've gained about three pounds of muscle Yay. and you've only gained about half a pound of fat. Excellent. So Susan's percentage of body fat has gone down. Ted's results aren't as good. I can tell by the look in your eye that you, you want you want this to be a lot better than it yeah, is. So. It's surprising actually. A three percent increase in body fat. February 30 and a half now today 33. Ted says that just gives him more incentive. A report card just gives you the ability to measure yourself going forward. The price of the Bod Pod test is $35 and it's done by appointment only. And you can find out more by calling Georgia Tech's Homer Rice Center at 404-894-1069. And Corey and Tana, this kind of drives it home what we're talking yes. about. It's a model of five pounds of <laughs> well, really unattractive visualize. bodily fat. Yes, it, it does. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't need to. I've got my own. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think we all do. But what is a healthy percentage of body fat? I mean, what should Basically, we be aiming for? For men, a healthy percentage is about 20% body fat or less. For women, it's about 30% body fat or less. All right. You can have this back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'll take that with you. <laughs> Thank you.